They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Sublime Code on the inside, that began well, and also the Song of Fire and Ice. Wilbur's right in the centre with the white sleeves. They're followed by Zingana, that's in the club blue. At this stage, Farik has got about four or five lengths to make up, has tacked over towards the middle of that group of horses, but got four or five to go and has been niggled at. In front of that is Noteworthy, Napoli is towards the inside. They're followed by Goodnight Nurse. As they move to the 600 metre region, though, Sublime Co, just the leader. Song of Fire and Ice is right there, then Zingana. They're followed further back by Napoli, then Noteworthy. Towards the outside, Baccalaureate. Farik still got about five or six lengths to make up. Inside the 400, though, and Sublime Code has gone away from them. Sublime Code, Baccalaureate is trying to run on towards the outside, is Brave Knight. But it's still Sublime Code over the last hundred. And Sublime Code, the leader, Farik, is now running on. So is Baccalaureate, Brave Knight on the outside. But it's Sublime Code, Farik kicks on late for second. Third will go to Brave Knight, close for fourth, Baccalaureate's involved. Sublime Code is victorious. Number 13, the Warm White Knight. Jumped out very smartly after the rest of 109 days. I wasn't worried about that rest. He went to the start. His gate uh, mouth was open. He was ready to rock and roll. He wins a length and a quarter. And then number five, Farik. So take note of that run as well as number three, Brave Knight, Baccalaureate. And then Cousine's Prince, uh, Prince further back in the running. And then came Osina. They are followed by Landcat. And then further back, Zingana, Rock Hard, Napoli. And then Song of Fire and Ice, Wilbur, and behind that one, Good Night Nurse. So the winners on the extreme left-hand side, this one trained by Alistair Gordon, and they continue to go as the toad favourite, number 13 at 2 Rand 50, Baccalaureate still running around, obviously other horses that placed uh, Farik and Brave Knight still very green. A number of horses will come out and show a lot of improvement, but the winner is Sublime Code, only second time at the track. Race time 70,34. Toad favourite arrives in the first. Until the running of our second race, back to the studio. A oh, nice start for the backers of the top one. The favourite has arrived in race number one. Number 13, Sublime Code, Alistair Gordon teaming up with Alec Forbes. And really nice to see uh, most of the partners here on course today. And uh, they've come to lead in the Son of Warm White Knight. And he's been off for three and a half months. And uh, firstly, Alistair, any particular reason that he was given that break? He had a little bit of shin problems. Um, so we just eased back on him a little bit. And he was due to run the other day here when the meeting moved to uh, the poly track. Yes. And he would have been drawn really badly there. So I decided to take him out. Um, but yeah, he's a nice horse here and a very good race first time out. He was a little bit unlucky that day. Um, and yeah, I mean, he had the experience today and I think that's obviously that made the difference. I, mean, I know Nathan fancied his horse, but this horse ran right to the line and uh, Alex said that if anything had come at him, he would have actually fought them off. So I'm sure he'll win more. And I'd just like to thank everybody. It's great to have Kevin and Lindsay back in my yard. And Johan, it's his first winner with me. And Dean Hyde in Johannesburg, he'll be watching and yeah, good luck to all of them. Well done, nice start to the day and um, you brought some uh, decent horses later on, Alistair. You'd like to touch on them? Yeah, I've got a first time in the second race who I think will need the experience. Um, and then we've got Beat the Retreat in the third race. You know, he's a really nice horse and his two-year-old form is strong. But um, he's had a layoff and it's 1,200 metres, which might be a little bit sharp for him. Mm. But he'll be running on strongly and he's got the class. I don't say he can't win, but uh, uh, you know, he might just need the run. But uh, he's working well at home, so I'm hoping for a really good effort. And then Joshua's Crown and Asagai also coming back from layoffs. I think over the 1600, Joshua's Crown might be more competitive. But it is a strong field and I think more of a place chance for him. Thanks for that, Alistair. The very best for the rest of the afternoon and all the best with this fella. Thanks very much. Thanks, Dees. Well done, Alistair Gordon. Let's get Alec Forbes in. Uh, he's uh, got home in the first and... Uh, yeah, you know, that, that, that draw, that draw one down the straight, if you're drawn in, in the low numbers, it, it's a massive plus, isn't it, Alec? As long as your horse jumps on terms, Dees. You know, if, you, if your horse is slow away, then it's a hindrance, then you'd rather be drawn wide. But fortunately for this guy, he jumped well, and we were just about in front most of the way. Through about the 600 of the horses that were around me fell away, and they just, you know, they just weren't good enough to keep up with me. 
And, um, you know, towards the end of the race, he was running green. He started running away from the, the, the tote board. And I think if something had joined him, he probably would have gone on. But uh, a great win and uh, very well done to, to Alistair and the owners, uh, Nicolette as well. It's, it's, it's nice when a plan comes together. It can be quite deceiving uh, watching uh, the jockeys and horses in the race. Uh, you know, often you think that a horse is traveling too well and, and they don't find. But this horse's cruising speed, I was impressed with that. Yeah, he was always cruising very, very easily. Dees, you know, um, like I said, I was in front most of the way. And then uh, when I did hit the front through the 600, it was, you know, very easy for him. Alistair touched on uh, some of your rides to come. But uh, if you had to point us in the right direction, would possibly your next best? Well, obviously, the, the next best would be beat the retreat. Um, but having said that, he's going up the straight again today. He, might, he may find it a touch short, Dees. But uh, he's got super, super two-year-old form. And... Um, uh, I think he'll he'll give a good account of himself. It's a hot day. How's the track running? Track's great, you know. Like I say, you should never ask the winner. You should ask somebody who ran last. They might give a different opinion, but the track feels good. Thanks for that, Alec. Nice start to the day. Thanks, Tease. Alec Forbes. Let's get Johan in. He's going to represent the guys. And uh, Alistair Gordon, just mentioning this, is his first winner with his table. But Johan's a passionate man about motorbikes and uh, horses. Uh, if you want to see the best Harley Davidson in town, come and speak to Johan, but uh, you also like your horses and uh, I know they bring a lot of joy uh, to you and uh, this horse, when we chatted in the parade ring, you thought will be hard to beat? Yes, we were confident, obviously one's got to respect the opposition, but then we've got Alistair Gordon on our side and today he's the winner and the horse and I hope everyone else has enjoyed the race as much as we have. Never in doubt, I think that's uh, a fair comment. From the jump he was in control. Yes, today it happened like that and we're very grateful for that and we hope the horse will train on and that we and the public will be able to have a lot of fun with this horse. How's the balance of your string? You got many in training now? No, I don't have many in training. I've got some more horses with Alistair. Um, yeah, we slowly, slowly getting a greater share into racing again. Um, but I want to thank the breeders, uh, that's Lindsay and Kevin Mitchell, the professors, as they tell me, yes, they were the breeders and they uh, allowed us to come into this partnership. And yes, it's going to be a fun one. And I think that's what racing is for me all about. And for them, I thank Dean Hyde, my mate in Johannesburg for also staying with us. Yeah, we're all very happy and uh, made the good times roll. It must have been a, a very pleasant uh, breakfast ride to the course on that Harley of yours. <laughs> I didn't come on the Harley, but it's as if I'm on a Harley now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, all the best to Johan and all the best to the rest of your partners as well. Thank you very much, Viz. Well done to uh, Johan. He's uh, representing all the guys here. Number 13, Sublime Code has come through to win. If you caught this quartet, 13, 5, 4 and 2. Coming up uh, next uh, is uh, going to be the first leg of the place accumulator. And I'm just told that it's a 13, 5, 3 and 2. Apologies for that. 13, 5, 3 and 2. That was race number one. Coming up next will be the start of the place accumulator. Time to jot down. There will be 13, 15. That's at a quarter past one.